and we're back with another round of nope not news we're going to be talking about third party panel at tfcon toronto what so, do you think is going to be here um i'm expecting something from fans toys um i'm expecting something from x transbots um they usually talk about the exclusives that are there so that might be a given that that's it. i was gonna say that's like a given that, yeah. that's a given so fans hobby is gonna have clutch and uh mmc is gonna have roll bar and oh gosh this is gonna my body count of bots is getting ridiculous <laughs> Hey, welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I'm Bobby the Bot. And I'm James the Con. And we're back with another round of, nope, not news. We're going to be talking about third-party panel at TFCon Toronto. So before we jump into that, let's give a shout-out to our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, who is at TFCon. Give a shout-out to them. Miss you guys. Wish we were there. Maybe next year. Also want to say thank you to our members. Uh, we did just put a link out because some people have asked about how to become a member. There is a link in the description. And to our subscribers, we really do appreciate you helping us on that on this journey. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the third party panel. I'm excited. Yeah, I think both of us are kind of blind to this. We tried to stay away so we could experience this with you guys. Um, so let's see what it is. If I'm looking over here, it's because I have to have three screens up. So bear with me, please. So first... What do you think is going to be here? Um, I'm expecting something from Fans Toys. Um, I'm expecting something from X Transbots. Um, they usually talk about the exclusives that are there, so that might be a given. That that's it. I was going to say that's like a given. That's, yeah. that's a given. So Fans Hobby is going to have Clutch, and uh, MMC is going to have Roll Bar, and um, Luna maybe Side. Huh? Luna Sight, the Galvatron. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So maybe X Transbots will have some updates on their Abaddon, who's their Galvatron. Um, so those are the big ones. Maybe the Light Toy, or not Light Toys, um, uh, Iron Factory will have some pictures of Leo Kaiser and something like that. Um, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, we'll probably see some Devastator stuff. Definitely yeah. some Devastator stuff. I think so too. Um, Let's just jump into it. And the first thing is Mecha Invasion. And we just talked about these on our show. Yes. So this is their Mix Master and Scrapper. Um, I don't think they have actual third-party names yet. Um, I don't know if we really need to go into these with in detail. But what do you think about them? They look good. They actually, I, I might be a little biased that... I don't think they look as good as the X Transbots versions, but they look good. They look like the they look like a better uh, version of the Jim Bow figures. Uh, I think they look quite a bit better than that. Um, for me, I think they look better than the X Transbots one because, but it's an aesthetic that I like more. So that shouldn't be a surprise that you like the G one and I like the more a little little bit crazier. Um, I watched, I think it was Mang Motion's video on these. And these are so simple. I love it. They look like they would be fun figures to like, you're watching a movie, have all of Devastator out and just be messing with it, which is something that is missing from third party combiners. Like you wouldn't want to take King Toys Predaking upstairs and mess with it. You know what I mean? These ones seem like time. that you would want to do that with, which yeah. is, is really cool. You know, I do hope we get maybe a shattered glass repaint. <laughs> because since it's different, no, like you're laughing because I said repaint, but since it is more um, unique with Mixmaster being the arm and whatnot, I think a shattered glass repaint would really work with this set. I agree. I know we were at, we were trying to figure out what it was going to be like for the the um, color scheme on these figures, and you know we recently talked about it and found out that they were going to be typical Devast Devastator colors. I'm, I'm, I agree with you. If they came out in some different colors, that would have been cool. I was hoping for like a, that's a cool pose. I was hoping for like a yellow or orange or something like that. But um, I, I was expecting that too, honestly, because it's yeah. not a traditional devastator. Yeah. But, you know, 
I don't know who they're going after with these, but I think it looks cool. I'm excited to see more. Yeah, but now the question is, are you going to pick these up? That really depends on the price. I was very impressed with the transformations, but it does have die cast and a lot of paint. And I'm... Devastator's never been my favorite combiner. You know, okay. I just, I've never had a connection with um, construction equipment that some people, some some young boys do. I've never had that connection with that. Guy. <laughs> no, definitely not. And I don't know if I'm willing to spend $500 on a Devastator, sit five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, like I would on Predaking or Abominus or Piranicon or whatnot. So it really depends on the price. Don't think they're going to be this much, but if they're 50 bucks a pop, then I'll probably be in. Don't think that I think they're going to be much more, and I'd probably be out. I'm thinking eighty. I that one, if they get released, you know, a little, little staggered, that one I might be able to do, but we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm in for eighty. I think you're in, no matter what the price is. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Let's maybe maybe ninety. Next, we've got Mechanical Skull Studio, which did, if I'm not mistaken, that Antagony upgrade set. Oh, I, th I think they did that. I think it was like Mechanical Skull Studio and another designer, and they came out with it. And but you did, um, you did pick that up, so they're doing Project Tank. So it's still in the developmental phase stage. It's eleven centimeters in robot mode and nine centimeters in vehicle mode. So it's Legends, right up Bobby's alley. Um, <laughs> it's some good old bulky '90s designs that can be modernized with a more dynamic way. Thus, Tank is their first attempt at doing that. So that actually looks pretty cool with that silhouette. I guess it's supposed to be a Stormbringer Megatron. I honestly have no um, idea what Stormbringer Megatron looks like. I think that's a comic. But this, I like what I'm seeing. Won't pick it up because it's Legends, but I like what I'm seeing. I definitely have to see more. You can't tease me on the Legends with... with uh... A silhouette. a silhouette like it's this. It's not going to get me excited. It's and it, it, yeah, I I have to definitely see see more. And so far, I'm out. I don't think you'll be picking this up. Yeah, I don't think I'll be just picking. just putting that up. Not because it's not going to look good, but because you don't need it in legend size. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's move on to New Age. So okay. they showed off H67 Varan. And you could see him right there, and there he is. And I don't know how many pictures they have, honestly. I'm seeing this as you guys do, so we're just going to go through them. Um, what are your thoughts? This looks great. That's funny you say that. I was going to say this looks like the worst one. It looks great. I don't like, like, the the wings on the back, I, I don't like, the, it's, it doesn't look like a smooth transition from section to section, but, like, the, the head, the head scope looks great. The arms look great. The chest is fine. I, I do, again, picky. The covers over the legs would be fine, but I think it looks great. I love the sword. Do, the sword does look good. I don't know much about um, Snarl and what he's supposed to look like, but that head does not scream Dinobot to me. If that's how it looked, that's fine. But it to me, it doesn't scream it. And let's let's look at another picture. Oh, well, we got this. Um, he he looks white here. Okay, I was gonna say this picture makes him look too skinny in the chest. Oh, yeah, but we could see that's the angle by looking at the other picture. Yeah, so. I don't think he looks ho horrible. None of these look horrible, but I don't think this is their best one. Honestly, I, I can say I can agree with that. It's, it's not their best one. Um, I do like him in alt mode though. Alt mode looks great. He, he looks so adorable. <laughs> he doesn't look tough at all. He looks... I don't know. He looks squishy, and I love him. I... But I don't... Like, honestly, I don't I don't remember Snarl actually being, like, aggressive or mean or whatever. I just remember him making silly s statements in the, in the animation. I don't rem I don't know anything about him. It's the eyes, I think, that make him look just so cute. They look... I don't know. Something's weird. They don't look like robot eyes. They look like, you know, like little beads on a stuffed animal. <laughs> little something. gems, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks it looks really... It's very, very clean. Very, very clean. It looks great. Yeah. Oh, look at him. That... Too many tamales. That looks really or, cool. Or not tamales. What do they call Jalapenos. There we go. 
that looks really really good oh wow okay you would know more know. about that than me i don't know about that <laughs> does he pee out of his tail no actually you know what they're i don't know no i'm thinking about another show um i don't remember him shooting lasers out of his tail and like we've said in this show before whoever does these photos with the whole back dioramas and all that yeah. stuff do such a good job for new age i need some dioramas in my collection now what would be cool is if that sword i mean that flame can also fit over the sword i don't think it does but that would be a cool little yeah yeah that would be um, and he has a target on his chest yeah that he's always had that that was always I mean, it's cool i'm not i'm not saying it doesn't but i think this is a good one um i don't think anybody that got the other ones will be disappointed no no i don't think so i think they've they've really hit home on these dinobots yeah. and i'm looking forward to the repaints i'll speak mm -hmm. up for you um <laughs> to, to finish off my collection of the shattered glass versions uh, i will not be picking up this one for obvious reasons um but it does look good and i know a lot of people are going to be happy that they're completing this set as well yeah i agree yeah now Let's get into what you've been waiting for, I believe, right? <sighs> well, depends. And, you know, hopefully there's... Um, hopefully they're not going to show off some aerial bots because we already know that's coming. Hopefully it's some news about Minasaur and what that's going to look like. And hopefully there's some stuff about... I don't know. I'm not even excited about it anymore, but it would Blitzwing would be kind of cool to see... Um, and then hopefully it's just some new characters that we don't know about that we're not waiting on. Well, let's get into it. <laughs> so Berserk, okay. A little late to the party, but he's still here. Yes, very late to the party. Um, it makes perfect sense with them canceling a whole bunch of people's pre-orders and they're probably going to you know, raise the price on them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. But honestly, looking again, Star Toys did a very, very good job. I was thinking that same thing. But let's let's go through. I'm assuming the alt modes are coming up first. What is up with that big flat piece underneath him? The the it, the, the the it's obvious the yellow, the, tape, the yellow the, part. It yeah, looks, that does not look good to me. That's how Blitzwing kind of always has been. But usually, I don't. I don't. He doesn't have a pizza dough underneath him like this one does. He looks like he's on a plate. <laughs> <coughs> just, the rest of it looks fine, but that is not looking so good. Star Toys didn't have that, did it? I don't think it did. I I have to look again. My I, I my, would have to. My well. version is in bot mode right now. Yeah, but they right. all kind of had a flat piece underneath, from what I remember. Not this big, though. It looks like a second set of wings. Now that could be it, but I think that's that's pretty consistent with the the figure, the character, if, all the way around, and it's very G one toy ish as well. And yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I actually I have. Think, I think this does not look good. Sorry. Hold on, watch this. Okay, let's see. So I haven't taken it out the. Oops, I haven't taken it out the box. Okay, I, I cannot. But, <laughs> but um, you can see, you can, you can see here. Yeah, but it have. doesn't look like fans' toys. He still has it, but it's the same shape as him. Now, if we go back, where is it? To looking at this, that is not the same shape. It does come out a little bit more. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it looks. It, Maybe it's the angles they chose, but like that one at least just looks like the underneath of the paint plane is tan. That would have been fine. This looks like a whole separate piece. It does look like he's he's holding something. It looks like he's yeah, carrying exactly. something. Yeah, I, I yeah. This is a fail in my eyes for fans' toys, and it makes sense because this figure is like what five years old, very old. So I who knows they could have updated it, but yeah. I, I'm not liking what I'm seeing. What about you? Um, they're they're gonna have to do. 
let's just say they're losing on this mold. Yeah. On this on this this alt mode. Yeah. It looks better with the weapons. It does. It, it takes away from it looking like it's on a pizza. Um, the tank mode though looks really nice. I don't like his dingle hopper up front, but I understand <laughs> that is animation accurate. <laughs> what are we calling it? It's a dingle hopper. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, he did have that on the original toy as well. N no, that was actually an animation error. You were supposed, they, in, in the original, that toy has it, but this is the thing, Bobby. And I, I just read about it because there was all the craziness that the the one Hasbro's version. You're supposed to spin the um, turret around, so yes. that's in the back. Yes. Yeah. Well, so and it, it's not supposed it, to be in the front, which I guess you could probably do yeah, with this. They show it here. They they do show yeah. it here. And then around. when they were doing the the TV show, they transformed it wrong. The animators yeah. transformed it wrong. Yeah. So I mean, it's animation accurate, but I I think it looks bad. I like the colors. I like the colors around the, the colors are great. I love yeah. the treads. Yes. Though it doesn't look like a real tank, but it looks no. cool. Yes, it, it does. Um I think Star Toys got it. I do too. I hate to say it. Star Toys kind of blew me away. Wasn't my style. But it was much better than this. Um, um. Okay, the gun looks cheap on top, but I'm sure in person it'll be shiny plastic and it'll look good. Just it, it does look bad on top. Yeah. The bot mode is where it's at, though. The bot mode, I the the bot mode is on this is better than Star Toys. Star Toys had that like that gap and looked like yeah, and the thighs looked kind of strange in my eyes. Even though I don't like the flat panels of these thighs, I think these look better. Yes. Wow. Oh. So so now I'm I'm gonna I'm struggling because picking this up I'll have four <laughs> blitz wings. So now I guess I'll have to figure out who's gonna be this will definitely be in bot mode. Right now Star yeah. Toys is in bot mode. Yeah, I, I think I think it looks good. It does yeah, look good. Is, yeah. It does bot, it, mode, bot mode's where it's at. Blitz me wing never blows me away. Um so it was the first triple changer, so for me, that's what did it for me. It's just like, wow, how do they do that? You know, it was still the the error of Transformers being new. And know? that makes sense. That makes a hundred percent sense. Um, I'm just saying, like, he looks like a normal bot with a whole all this stuff on his back. Yeah, There's yeah. nothing really unique. <laughs> the first. Back I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm trying, like. Honestly, you know what I mean? For, from somebody who didn't grow up with this character. Makes perfect you know? sense. But I still think he looks cool. I love the colors. I think they do, they're doing a good job. And he looks good with Astro Train. Mm -hmm. uh, I do think the Astro Train looks better. I've, I've always liked Astro Train better. With, with these two next side by side. And like you said, I, it could be the design. Because like, mm -hmm. you said you've always liked Astro Train better. But I do think he looks better. And I didn't realize it at the time, but when I... Astro Train was one of the first um, first few fan toys figures I got, and I just loved him. I thought that was it was an amazing figure. So yeah, this is gonna be cool to see him next to each other. And why does it go on the back of his head? Let us know if if there's some animation thing on why the turret becomes an antenna. For some reason, I'm trying to remember I, if I saw something or if I remember something I don't, but I that do. That was the weirdest thing. Yeah, I don't remember that. I, I still, I do love the way that there's no gap in the shoulders like the Star oh, yeah, Toys. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's definitely a plus. That's such a, that was my, oh. <laughs> that was, that was the one reason, let's finish your sentence, why you were not going to pick it up, but you still decided to pick it up. Um, is that what I was saying? Yeah, that was. Um, is this unfinished? Unfinished meaning? The chest and legs have no paint on them. Ah, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. It, and as that, somebody that probably knows what more what it looks like than me, I'm asking you. So, this because is this where... Because this looks horrible if they're going to release it in these colors. This is where... 
there's been this i don't want to say discrepancies but um dx9 x trans bots they kind of did a little bit things differently so um one x trans bots came out with the tune version and or the uh, the toy version the youth version and there was stickers all up and down the legs because it was the design of the, the figure. Well, it's the, it's the, to, the toy it's version. The that makes toy sense. Version. Yeah. Um, and then like some will have like purple on the chest a little bit. Um, X Transbots also came out with the version that had the car on the chest, which was the toy version. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so it's it definitely needs some love. It's them. not just me, right? No, me, it, it, it my looks, pessimistic it, self. It, it looks, looks like dead dead minosaur yeah and and what's weird is again we're talking about tablets on the crotch that tab the purple <laughs> on his crotch looks great with the designs and then his chest has it looks like a little bit of black and, and his lower clear. legs are completely bare like i'm hoping that this is a prototype yeah we need we do need a little bit more color in there something else and I'm sure maybe you slap a big Decepticon symbol in the center of his chest, and that changes everything, and it looks fine, you know. Yeah. But there's, I this isn't my favorite version of Minosaur. I like the cars being on the front of the legs because I like them to be part of the combiner, not just things he slaps on. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as what it is, the sculpt looks amazing. It does. It looks. Yeah. It just needs. It just needs a oh. little bit of. Oh, well, there you go. Now. This bothers me. Oh, really? I was going to say, I think this looks better, but why does it bother you? Because the cars are on the legs are like backwards. like They're upside down. And upside down. It's just... Well, uh, because the original one, they were... You saw the inside, the robot chests. Right. So the, on the G1. So that is accurate. Um, but the but cars, they weren't upside down like this. Yes, the... The the um, hood the, the hood would flip back. It's like the knee, yeah, it, yeah. So yeah, this this looks weird. It does look weird. Um, I like the attempt, but it looks weird from the knees up. I like it. Yeah, it looks and and I even like it better than the one we just looked at. Honestly, from the knees down, if in my opinion, this is yeah. more how I would display them. And um, you, can see, you can see the colors and stuff shining through on this. Exactly, it's not as blah. Yeah, you know, um, I think it still looks good. Um, I think you're gonna have to buy two of them. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I do like. So it looks like it has the car on its chest. So that's cool. Uh, I really. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, there's this gun. Okay, so we see it comes with the gun and the sword. Um, and they look nice. They do look nice. Um. I'm really gonna have to see these. Okay, so that's cool. He turns it, so you can't tell which way the car is going, and that's very reminiscent of the original <laughs> the, one. The original the like, one, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm sitting here trying to con con consider who's going to, to be in this version. Actually, I'm X Transbots. I think looks better in this version, and DX9. I have the DX9 set. I may have to see how that looks in combined mode. These guys may actually stay in bot mode. Yeah, which is so sad because you've waited so long to get it. And yeah, it, and it does. And I don't know the the and dead end. He he looks okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I like the these faces are fine. I like these facial expressions. The one on the bottom center <laughs> looks looks annoyed as hell, and I do like it. Um, <laughs> I think the faces are great. I mean, I didn't. Everybody knew the faces were going to be great. I'm just yeah, to be honest. So I I think <laughs> I mean that that is better than not having something. That's actually kind of cool. Wow. Yeah. That now that is somebody that you want to hit your car so you can get a good insurance policy to <laughs> claim on. 
Jeez. That's something the Stunticons would do. Holy crap. I mean, like... Not being funny, like... That, that trailer is... Really, really... And, and X-Transbots... DX9. One of them. One of them came... What's one of the... DX9. DX9 came with a, you know, a super long trailer. Um, but this is... Well, wow. I like that they broke it up into two. Well, they had to break it up into two because... Well, um, I mean, um, they could have made it just clip on and be super long, like what you're saying. But with it being two separate units, you know, you can actually see trucks like this. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, what I was saying is uh, Motormaster is... Like, the trailer is part yeah, of Motormaster. So exactly. it's not like it comes yeah. off. Mm -hmm. So it being attached, that's just the... It's, it's, it's the just combiner like, parts. It's, yeah. it's here for the first trailer, and then it's... <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, that, yeah. So, but I, I get what you're saying. They are. It looks different in all the images. How long they are compared to each yeah, other? Yeah, it, it's very, very long. I do like that the the weapons clip on there. It would have been nice if they would have clipped maybe underneath or something like that. But it's fine. It is. It's storage. I I'm happy this set's getting finished. But I have to get it in hand. I really have to get it in hand. And I really, really love this Motormaster. So I really want to get it in hand and, and see what it's like. Um, but so far, this might not be my favorite Minasaur. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that looks good. I think... I never thought I'd say that the Superion looks better than the Minasaur. With these I, two side by side. I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm actually with you on this. And I, I mean, it's cool that all the combiner bits turn into an extra trailer, but I think it's even cooler that they thought to make the flight stands out of the combiner parts for the jets. Maybe right. that's just, it's just more interesting. Right, um, right. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to give it to Superion. I mean, they're also doing combiners I don't really care for. No, well, yeah. You know, so, but yeah. No. I like, I really like all the details in the Minasaur as well. Not that I'm just not not saying that Superion doesn't, but the Minasaur has a lot of details, like in the legs, details in the chest, details. Like it's not just like smooth. You can actually see, you know, uh, flat panels. You can see some um, yeah. panels that pop out at you. You know, I see what the, you're the vents on the on his sides. Those can change. It looks like mm -hmm. um, there was two different types of vent. Um, whatever those things, those little pylons on the shot of his head. Um, those look like they changed. So I, I want to see the back. I want to see how uh, Motormaster fits in there. Because, I mean, again, Motormaster was a, all, like, the trailer and everything combined into him as a bot, which is freaking amazing. So I want to see how it sits into this combiner part. Well, time will tell. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a very... Yeah, that looks really good. All right, well, let's get into fans' hobbies. Okay. Um, and let's see what they have. This doesn't oh! surprise me at all. What? <laughs> We've what? Got MP15 what made you come up with this? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, we've already talked about this Must in buy. Ad Um Looks amazing. Yeah. No doubt about it. This is... So cool. All the colors mesh together perfectly. And this trailer they added is just over the moon. Little box truck. So cool. I, you know, I, a lot of the exclusives are just repaints. They actually put the time and effort into giving us something new and unique. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. And, and having, you know, the chosen prime, having Brandon on the, on the, um, yes. interview, uh, a week or so ago was really cool to hear about all the stuff they did. I mean, that looks really cool. Storage area for spare shells. So, and oh, that's awesome. I didn't even see that before. Yeah, so, because remember, he said it, it actually fires. Uh-huh. So you can, you know, that is, that's really, really cool that you can fire the shells and store the extra ones. Yeah, I'm, they did a, an amazing cool. job with this. Great job. I can't wait. Stay tuned, guys, because as soon as we get these in, we will be talking about it. <laughs> Um, and there he is with Arson, which um, was our first fans hobby exclusive, at least mine. I don't think you got any other ones <laughs> before this. 
No, no, it was, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely was mine, first one. And it's a great figure, and you could kind of see how at least the decos kind of grew, at least in my opinion. Oh, yeah, they've, they've definitely come further along. They get better and better and better as they go yeah. along. Yeah. yeah, and I have to, I actually um, have to, I don't even know what number I have of this. I don't remember. Um, and there they are. And let's talk about the shield team. Oh, okay. Those look really good. Um, okay, test shot with digital color and effect. Oh, okay. Well, they still look good. They, they do <laughs> I'm look glad good. you read that. Um, they, yeah. they look, and and I recently um, have touched mine, and these look like they're going to be better than the one the original. So. <laughs> That sounds so funny. Yeah, um, I, I, I touched my figure. Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> wow. They look a lot better in color than the test shots we first saw. So these are also test shots. So the feet on the, the car, the middle car, uh -huh. it doesn't look like there's any... Uh, ankle tiltage on does it doesn't look like there's ankle tilts on any three of on, them. on any of them and that was one of the things that i disliked about not that not that i knew but it's just like when they stood they was just like their feet weren't flat on the ground they was just like yeah i mean back then what could you expect but now they could have maybe made that a ball joint I, again i'm not a designer i mm -hmm. i can't pretend that i know what's happening but like a ball joint could have fixed that yeah and and the the head on the the minivan, it looks like a, a Lego head without the like, <laughs> without the you know like they put a hat on it, it or does. something like that. It, it looks does. like a Lego figure. Um, I'm still in for these. I think the jets actually look better. I agree. In in bot mode than these. I love these vehicles though. Just being a car guy, I love these vehicles. But um, the jets were were my favorite as. For the originals and i think it's going to be stay the same for these i i agree i really liked the race car with the long arms when i was a kid okay i don't know why i always liked that figure it was probably one of my favorite mini cons again i don't ask me so i'll probably now that i see them in color and now that i know the prices aren't too crazy on these i'll probably pick this setup so i what if they make this one a little bit more because it comes i would day? i would understand okay I, so I would say 45 right here this this is what we're talking about yes if it's 45 I, I would get it still probably even if it's 50 i that's a big hunk of plastic and paint so i i i understand that uh, but again i'd still have to weigh weigh it i want to get the other mini cons in hand first mm -hmm. um and go from there but the shield mo mode looks really good it does and the part that i like so I initially I was thinking that the shield, the big hunk of plastic. I was thinking that that was a separate piece, but it says shield cover. So do, does that mean you have to combine them and then put the shield on top of them, or can you just use the shield, the shield cover as? They the, should. Oh. I, if I was fans hobby, I would create another peg that you could have put in the shield. If <laughs> I was them, but it does say cover, so maybe you have to clip it on for it to connect on the arm. I don't know. Yeah. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, what? You don't what, know? Yeah, you don't know about all the secret emails between me and fans, Hobby, do you? <laughs> um, yeah, so. And it says we'll available see. third quarter. Yeah. So, so that's right around those, Baltimore. Um, true. True. Let me all just pick it up there. Um, oh, and now we have Tidal Wave. Oh. Maybe it's because we keep seeing the Hasbro one, but these pieces look so tiny next to that Megatron. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was going to be bigger. Like, I knew it was 16 inches tall, but that looks very small. It does. And especially the the um, uh, the white piece. Um, the aircraft, the aircraft carrier. carrier. Yeah. It, you know, that one looks the smallest. Maybe it's, it's again... Next to the tank, it's, <laughs> no, it's yeah, um, and this is, says, I don't know, it, third it, quarter as well. Well, this is yeah, it's um, because that Megatron is decent size, and I thought, it, okay, um, 
But in robot mode, I think that size is appropriate. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's too small. Yeah. If if Megatron didn't have those huge uh, tank treads on the side of him, and it just went, even though it's you know only a little bit higher, like if he was if if you take off the antlers on his head and those shoulder pads, and if that was the size difference, I'd be like okay. But with that other stuff on there, it's like it makes it go to like the top of his chest, like you know just right below his neck. Well, I've never seen Tidal Wave as being huge, huge, huge like the one from Hasbro um, compared to their Hasbro Megatron because I, I played with the original toys. That's true. And it wasn't huge That's difference true. just because they couldn't do that they back didn't. then. They weren't doing it back then, yeah. Yeah, they, they had Unicron, you know, and that was the big character and it was probably the size Tidal Wave was supposed to be. Um, <laughs> so this doesn't strike too much of a bad chord in my mind. The knees still look weird, but they don't look as bad in these pictures. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That was a very good point about the. These are more accurate to what we got in the, scale. In, yeah, like if you actually got the Megatron and the Tidal Wave, this is probably this pro around yeah. what it would look like. Yeah, it's yeah. probably a one to one scale on that. Yeah. I'm yeah. in mean, here. They are posing, posing, doing a, a a little a little jig for us. And there's the size comparison again. That, that seems like what I would be expecting. And the biggest thing that I'm surprised you haven't mentioned is there's mini bots. I was just about to say that there's not there ain't no mini bots in this picture. Or oh, excuse they're me, mini cons. Mini cons. They are excuse bad me. to the bone. Um, they're really tiny, but I think that actually works with tidal wave because it makes them look bigger. It does. Yeah. So I we can't maybe maybe let's see what the next picture is. No. So um, we don't have a close up of the mini cons, but I remember seeing them up close and they do look good. So, okay. um, if not some of the best well-rounded mini cons that Fans Hobby has produced today. Okay, I can. Um, I remember when we looked at them; they were more proportional and stuff. Um, this mode, could you throw it away for me? I'm never like this. I, I'm never going to do this with my Galvatron. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't this, look bad. I've this just, one doesn't look bad. I never understood why he got more power. When he just moved the tank turret to the front, that's what he could pull over him. And I think it would be more efficient to have Tidal Wave shooting his own guns instead of hanging off of his arm. Yeah. Maybe he flies. Maybe he could fly with that weird backpack. But then Tidal Wave are boats, so they shouldn't fly. So maybe it's a submarine backpack. <laughs> I don't go know. deep sea diving. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, um, I mean, I guess this is equivalent to Prime combining with Jetfire and... Yeah, you know, but in the movie that doesn't look forced. That's oh oh from the movie. Yes. Never mind. I yes the comparison can be the same. Yeah. yeah. Um. It just looks ridiculous. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I just. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm glad they put it in. If they didn't put it in, we'd be complaining about it. So I'm glad we that would. It's, we would definitely it doesn't look. It looks like what it's supposed to look like. A hot mess. This one looks better with the feet. Oh, yeah. I forgot he did that. Yeah, this does look better, I will say, but it's still not going to put him in this mode. Yeah, this one this one looks more proportional. It doesn't look like he's overwhelmed with so much yeah. weight. Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, he's big. You can see, like, eye to eye with that prime. Huh, yeah, cool. well, I mean, with those huge... With, with, with the platform. Kiss, yeah. This platform, yeah. Um, Megatron with the platform shoes on. And here's the third mode third mode yeah remember. they just they just put the legs around okay yeah i don't remember that all right well let's get into okay. mastermind creations and from what the little list i'm looking at this is the last company whoa yeah so there was not a lot of companies that were at these third party panels so okay this is surprising i know you you don't understand this so this was a crowdfunded figure back in 2018, maybe earlier or later, and it failed. It did not get enough people to buy it. And now it looks like they have a design update, so I guess it's coming through. Um, I will 
more than likely be picking this up. I wanted it back in the day. I didn't have the money for it. When I think of Fort Max, I don't know why, this is more what I think of. A tank um, guy, because I like this. I, I, I kind of like him being a jail warden, which I think he was in IDW. And, you know, I used to read the wikis. And that's kind of where my idea of Fort Max came was the IDW version. Um, and I'm just going to say it. This would make an amazing updated Armada Megatron as well. Ah. This would look really cool with, you know, with the things. Mm hmm I don't have a Armada. I was going to say G1. I don't have an original colored Armada Megatron. So if they do that repaint, maybe for an exclusive, I would pick that up as well. Um, if this comes out, I'm probably going to pick it up. I do not see Fort Max in this at all. Besides the the, the, guns, the the guns in his legs, yeah. Um, but I, even when you said Fort Max, I was like Super Max. I'm gonna, like, oh. I'm gonna go to the next slide. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Here's some more information. He's big too. Oh, they added a whole bunch of articulation for him. Texas level yeah. articulation. Optus Pexus. So it has the same as their Optus Pexus was their Optimus. Okay. So he can do all that type of articulation. Yeah, this is definitely bought. That we we've talked about that. That figure, and the Nemesis, because I'm mm -hmm. stupid like that, um, was one of my favorite figures of 2022 um, because of the articulation. So this this if it can do everything like that, this is bought. It's just fun to mess with. Yeah, um, almost 12 inches from head to toe. Mm -hmm. So probably 12 inches if you add those treads on. So the height of the treads. So I'm I'm in for this. I love the colors. I, I again I don't see Fort Max, but you could Super call him Max. Super Max, and he can be yeah Fort yeah. Max's little brother. Yeah, he's you know, he and I yeah. like the two guns are set different. Well, and that's kind that's of, it's just cool. I like that they're two different molds. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's Fort Max as well. He has a long. Oh, did he? Gun does he have two he different guns? Sport. Yeah, he has oh, a long okay, that's gun cool. and he has I didn't a short know that. Gun. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. And there's the alt mode. I think it's a pretty cool Cybertronian battle ram. I wouldn't call it a tank. It looks like it's just gonna run into you. Um, release date pending. So I hope that means it's not canceled. I'm, I like this though. I really, honestly like it. I'd, I'd pick it up. I'm uh, pin, pin me in. I'm, yeah, I'm I'm in for this. If they had, if they if they were doing the crowdfunding today, I would put money down on it. I couldn't oh, back yeah. then. And honestly, maybe it's a good thing it didn't get crowdfunded because now it has super articulation. So I'm, I'm, looking I'm for the silver linings. So I'm there. I'm there with you as well. They they had more time to do more with it potentially. I don't know what the original looked like, but it did look like this pretty much. But it didn't have okay. all that articulation. Okay. Because so, yeah, it was it was five six years ago, so you know, yeah, it makes sense. I'm um, I'm in on it. Let us know in the comments if you are in on this or out on this, or maybe, or if you're like me and you're going to wait for the repaint. Now let's get into the perfection series. Here you go, Bobby. Okay, groove. All right. So first thing I looked for was the chest and the head. It looks like the chest is sitting up higher in this picture here. They're hiding it. Or they're hiding it. The From this angle, it looks great. That face, though. He looks like he has a huge nose. That is the, the he worst. He better not sneeze on me. Is, is that what he looked like in G1? I don't remember. Um, but he, that... he has... Oh. He has a little bit of gonzo in him, too. He does. He's going right there with Sideswipe. Yeah. Um, the first thing <laughs> I looked at was the alt mode. That is the most gorgeous motorcycle I think we've seen. I don't, I would, I, again, I don't know all of them. I don't remember what X Trans bots, if they came out with theirs, looked like. But this motorcycle looks spot on. I love all the detail in it. Um, I wonder if his weapons, uh, his alt mode weapons, are going to store on him. 
because uh, that was something that I believe the the X Transbots version. The alt mode weapons. Yeah, there's two guns that go on the side, in the back. You mean uh, like in the G1 version? In the G1 version. Oh, okay. I thought you meant this one. That's why. No, I was that's what I say. I wonder if they're going to have that because I don't see like pegs or anything for them. But I know I think the I can't remember if the X Transbot version did it or not. For some reason, I'm thinking they did not. Um, but I don't remember. Uh, I have to go look. But the other thing I noticed is in bot mode, his shoulder pad, it looks like a USB plug. <laughs> it does. It does. I yeah. also don't like his name. <laughs> Insertus. <laughs> He's, his um, name is Groove. He's getting his Insertus <laughs> on. <laughs> um, they're covering up the chest again. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There you go. I'm sorry. So, it doesn't look horrible. It looks great in all in combined mode. I really like how the tire turns. That's a really cool little detail. Yeah, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, they did a good job with that. But the bot mode is such a flop on this guy. From from the the from the gold down. But from yeah. gold up, I mean, gold up. It gold does. down is good. Maybe maybe the Okay, so you see where like the the Autobot sign would go in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you see like the little ridges that are off to the side. You're still being optimistic. I'm like, maybe you have to pull them up and it would go up a little bit and cover that up a little bit more. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the silver lining. Yeah. I mean, it, the, the, I will say the neck looks better now. It does. Yeah. It doesn't look as bad as it originally did in those prototypes, but it's still not there in my eyes. Yeah. And I'm still, I mean, so far it looks great in combined mode it like all together yeah. it, looks, yeah. it looks very good in combined mode well, i'm also mad that he's so small it's a little plain in the ab region yeah in the blue region on like right around here mm -hmm. i feel like it needs a little bit more but again that's just me being me so yeah i i need him to be taller but it's fine um he's and he could have been they could have given him some bigger feet maybe yeah, he's just. And you know what? They did that with Bruticus. I wouldn't be surprised if you get another set. For some reason, Bruticus, he was thin, but he looked. He didn't. He didn't look as short as this one looks like it's gonna be. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's because he's so wide. I don't know. Yeah. But let's talk about Bruticus. Let's talk about Shift Lane or Roll Bar. Um, we already talked about this. How we both wanted them, and I think a friend is picking it up for both of us. Am I wrong? Yes, a friend is looking out, so okay. appreciate you. When I say, am I wrong, you should say no, because you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, J James James reached out and, and said, um, can you put a, a bat signal out to, to see if anybody's at TFCon <laughs> that can pick I, this up? I just want to get this. I'm sorry. Rollbar, like I said um, well, to you earlier, was the only version of G1 Swindle I ever had. I mean, it's the only version of Bruticus, you know. And I grew up watching R.I.D. I want this really bad. And we also talked about it. I think it's funny that at our first TF Con together, you told me to pick up, I think, the G2 version. Mm -hmm. I did. And I said, I'm waiting for Ruination. And it's so funny that it's a TF Con exclusive right now. That, hey. It, yep. It's, yep. I, I, what's it called? When you manifested it into, into existence. Exactly, yes. It looks good. Uh, I I do like this set. I had I had a lot of fun with this set, so I'm excited to get this version as well. I'm excited to try it out. I think it looked great, but yeah. again, I was waiting. So um, hopefully they come out fast. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, we all knew what it was going to look like. Now the question is, are they going to do the uh, your uh, American or Japanese colors? I think it's going to be the Japanese with the gold chest. Um, and the tan tank, but I would love to see them also continue the line and maybe give the the American blue tank and the tan chest for um, what's his name? I can't think of his Bra name. Bra no, no, the um, it's um, onslaught, on but I can't think of the yeah. octane yeah. one. Octane one, I think it is something. Um, yeah, I would love to see that. Um, well, right, so we'll see. Time will tell. 
they are exclusive, so they could do both. That's that's what I'm getting at. I'd love to have both. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and it doesn't necessarily mean that all of them will be exclusives. You know, they could just, you know, have the one bot become an exclusive and all the others get... Test the waters. Release. Yeah. If it doesn't do well, keep them exclusive. If it does well, move yeah. them on to the main series. I'm, I'm in for it either way. I just hope it doesn't take a long time. Like Me you too. Said. And there's Prototype of Devastator. Wow. Um, the two arms are the same, so maybe they haven't finished the arm. Oh, yet. they are. So it's still a prototype. Yeah. Yes. So we have a leg. We have the legs done. We have an arm ish. And then the torso. And then the torso, which I guess, and and maybe, you know, if it's hook and long haul, then we have the the uh, midsection as well. I'm. I like it. The proportions look wrong. He's very chest. He's very square chested. Yeah, and the legs are a little long. I don't know. Maybe it's I, and the, I. It would not be the Devastator I was picking up after seeing all three of them. So far, and it's more than three. Five. Four, five. five of them. Yeah. So far, X Transbots is winning in my book. I do think X Transbots look the best, um, but if I was to pick one up, it'd probably be the weird one with the Mix Master. It um, makes sense. Mecha Invasion. Yeah. Um, this one, I need to see more. It doesn't look like they're detailed yet. I need to see a lot more. Because there's fans toys as well. There's fans toys and then there's Mech the Invasion, Dream Star, um, Trans Bots. What, what did you say? Dream Star. Dream Star, and then MMC. And then there's also Vector. Yeah. It Vector? I mean, that's kind of... Vector Prime? Vector... Is that what it is? If Vector, Vector Prime was making them, they'd be out by now. But... Um, um, Vector Sigma? Vector... I don't remember. Either which way. Um, Vector Titan? I don't and, remember. Yeah, I think I think this is going to be... A, especially if it has all the articulation that they're saying. Let's, let's see. Okay, so let's go back to it. Especially if it has all the articulation, I think that it's going to be a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in for it. I think you're in for all five. Don't, don't even lie. <sighs> don't lie to our fans. Bobby. Yeah, I, ain't, I, am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where I'm going to put all these. I'm hoping. I'm literally hoping that some somebody comes out with something that's a different color. Yeah. Because otherwise, I'm you gonna will have, get. Like, but you're going to get those two. <laughs> it's going to be like a green. It's gonna be like a green mob in one of my shelves. Exactly, with with one orange and yellow one up there. That would be okay. I would I would definitely hope yeah. to do that. Oh, you'll get funny. you'll get the orange and yellow ones oh, in five this, years. This is gonna be terrible. When Kang Toys comes out with this, oh god! If Kang <laughs> Toys, if that what we talked about on on our last recording, if they came out with a um, a Devastator and it's green, I'm that that image that we saw that video. If it's Devastator, I'm going to be pissed. I don't think it is. Um, I don't either, but I'm going to be now pissed. let's get into the remix. So I know you're very excited for these. Um, what are we remixing up here? What are we? What are we stirring up here? We've already seen these. Yes, they look great. Honestly, what? How expensive were these? Eighty, I believe. One for one. Yes, I believe so. Okay, then I'm out. Um, because I'm like I like these. Honestly, they're the toy colors. I think they're really cool, but I don't have a connection to these characters enough. Honestly, I have them on my shelf when they turned into tanks, which I know that probably pisses you the hell off, but they're fun figures. Um, so I'll probably be skipping these then. I was hoping both of them would be 80 and I'd be like, oh, sold. <laughs> and for some reason, I think they might have done a box set for 120. I feel like they just came out with that. It I was think, like an exclusive. Yeah. And remember, any either which way, um, if this is a two pack for one twenty, that might be bought. I'm trying. To I really liked the Rosanna and the um, flip sides we got. Yeah, I'm. I don't. Are the guns integrated into the transformation? No. So they actually. No. Uh, so, so, excuse me. They store 
in the tape. So they store yeah, 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 the exactly. They store in the tapes. Cool. Yeah, that's what I wanted to make. Yeah, sure. when you, when you said integrated, I was thinking that you were talking about like, do they like stay in the hands and transfer? No, 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 no. Yeah. I just meant, oh, do they store? Okay, that's cool. yeah. They they store into the legs, and they have their um, pile drivers. Yes, and I like the color around the pile drivers. Mm -hmm. The the silver and red stripe or the silver yeah. and blue stripe. I do like that. Really cool. Yeah. And there they are with the original ones. Hmm. Okay, now um, I like the heads better. No, I don't even know if I like. I kind of like the original ones better all around. That's what I was. I'm glad they Honestly, did this. Honestly, I'm I'm because really the, the only big difference I see is just the colors around the legs. I was going to say the thighs and the shins. And then the silver on the... And now, I'll be honest with you, I bought a sticker set. To make them look like this? That make them look like this. <laughs> and so... Yeah. And when you're here, you'll see. And you'll be able to, to look at them and, and you know compare and see if it's worth getting the original set and getting the sticker set if you really wanted to look like this? or Hon Honestly, I... I don't like either of them a lot enough. So I'd rather spend the money on this and save up money to get that enemy exclusive. Oh, God. <laughs> I really want that. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Let us know if you got yeah. these or if you're going to be picking them up. Now let's get into Infinity Finity. So uh -oh. I'm really excited about this line. Hopefully we see something new. I mean, I see Unicron in the back. I got excited. Okay, they talked about the exclusive first. That's why you saw Unicron. That's why Unicron was there. Okay. Right? Yeah. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it looks good. I'll pick it it up. doesn't move me. It doesn't move me, but I'll pick it up. But it, yeah, and well, of course you're picking it up. <laughs> I mean, you picked up, I think, every one of the con exclusives. I'm not going to confirm or deny or deny deniability. that statement. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's good. I love the faces. So the good. faces. They're so animated. The um, faces do it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just move on to drift. Um, mm. I, that arm is not doing it for me. The. The little bend in the oh. armor. <laughs> Holding the sword, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. It looks like Cybertron Hotshot from Hasbro. Yes, I was th that's exactly what I was I was wondering if you were gonna say that because you definitely got on Hasbro. I don't but like I it at all. Those arms. I need to now seeing that, I kinda need to see it in hand. I need to I need to have a review or something. Cause now that even the other arm looks wonky. I swear <laughs> it didn't look like that before. Yeah, it. I just saw the steering wheel on oh, yeah. the opposite side, and that got me excited. It looks it looks like a new age alternator kind of. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it looks it, like it has seats and interior and stuff, and that is awesome. I'll probably still pick this figure up, but those arms, no, noodle arm Larry over here. You know, you can't. You gotta now. You gotta. You gotta backtrack a little. Back off a little bit. Excuse me. I say backtrack, but yeah, I'm not as excited now. for this anymore. But this deco now. Oh wait a minute. Wait a second. Are are we talking about a, another figure? Or is that this figure painted? And this is gonna be IFO two. IFO two A. I might wait. Oh. I might wait for this repaint. Okay, I'm. I'm. Because have me at hello. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep flipping back between the slides. I think this is supposed to look like Initial D, the car anime. I've never watched it. Okay. Probably won't. Um, I'm sure it's great. Have you watched it? Never heard no? of it. Okay. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And what's and it called? Maybe this is a more drift version. What's and the it's called Initial D. Initial D. Okay. Yeah. Never heard of it. This looks great, though. Um. Yeah, I think I'm waiting. Well, I, I, I'm. I, why wait? Why put off for tomorrow? What you can oh, do that's today? It. So. Wow. 
Yeah, that looks really cool. That looks cool. I really want to see this one in bot mode now. Yeah, we need to. Um, yeah, there's there's two more figures coming to coming home. Yeah. So. Oh gosh, this is gonna my body count of bots is getting ridiculous. <laughs> body count of bots. Um, don't even worry <laughs> about what Bobby said. Don't don't think about it too hard. Let us know which character, which figure you're most excited about. What is yours? We have to start at the beginning and go over them again. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> um, I, ironically, I'm going to say Dead End from Fans Toys just because I really want to complete that set. That's I thought you were going to say that. And I um, think yours is probably Roll Bar. Well, I was going to take the exclusives out of it. Oh, Because okay. that's not really fair okay. because if... Honestly, Rollbar wouldn't be. It would be Clench. Clench, yes. Okay. That would be my number one, and then Rollbar would be the second. Okay. Um, but taking those out because those aren't those don't really count. I'm not really excited for much of it. Honestly, mm. the tidal wave isn't my favorite. Oh, there we go. Thor Max, the Super Max. Oh, Super Max. That's yep. probably out of what they showed off. That's probably the one I'm most excited about. Um, because mm. it's unique. And Very you know, unique. I'm always looking for the unique things. I everything feels really stale, at least to me right now. Um, so that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. That's, I I might be there with you. Just just everything else seemed really samey. I don't know. If it's just me. We kind of knew about the other stuff coming, so I guess the supermax was the big was that, a surprise. Let's see. Is that the only thing that's new? Well, we got the new drift. The new drift, and. Super and then Max. we got that Megatron, but they only showed a uh, silhouette. silhouette. That was it. Everything was old. Yeah. I mean, Ruination, if you consider the silhouette that they teased, but it was mm -mm. it was just Bruticus. <laughs> yeah, I I think Supermax, Supermax was Supermax the only was one. was the only one. I think that takes it. That takes the cake for me. And second would be the drift in that that I'm looking at on this screen with the um the red the red. Yeah, that looks that car mode looks way better than the original. Yeah, it does. It it looks very very fast and furious ish, and I'm all I'm for it. Tokyo Drift. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. Well, why don't we wrap this thing up? Go ahead and like this video if you watch it this far. You have to like us at least a little bit. So go ahead and do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, and I want to give a big shout out to all of our subscribers. We passed. 1800 and we didn't even notice so thank you so much for letting us get to that milestone um let's try to get to 2000 before baltimore i don't know let's see what we could do um and um go ahead share this video around stay tuned we have a lot coming and we'll see you in the next one sounds good as always to all debates are one